hey lovelies welcome back to my channel if you are new here i hope you enjoy this video check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel so if you've seen the title then you know that i am attempting femi beauty's lazy girl method in this um video um i don't call it lazy girl method she calls it lazy girl method so i'm not calling her lazy this is just a technique that she does on her channel um that she calls lazy girl method Basically, she um, is doing poly gel nails using full coverage tips, and then she does all of the poly gel design and everything underneath the nail tip so she doesn't lose the shape of the nail and then the nail smooth once you cure it. So I did use my flexi finger and I went ahead and prepped that like I would prep my nails normally. And I just pulled out some pink poly gels from my drawer just kind of wanted to um, see what kind of design I could come up with. So obviously I'm going to do a marble. And <laughs> for me, I like to do marbling. The easiest for me is with acrylic. So once I figured out how to reduce the monomer smell in my house, and I'll link that video for you in the cards above, um, I haven't really been using much of my poly gel or my builder gel or my builder gels in a bottle. I've been doing more acrylic, which is fine, but um, I do have a bunch of poly gels that I, I don't use, so I kind of want to play with them today. The last couple of poly gel videos that I have done, I have used the base coat instead of the slip solution, and I did see that on a few channels. So. The first video, I already gave those channels their sh um, their shout outs and credit. So um, I will link a full video as well of me doing a full set of poly gel with the base coat instead of the slip solution. So poly gel doing marble, you have to really be cautious of how much poly gel you use or you're going to end up with blobs like me. So I went in with too much poly gel and then it had started to get on my fingers and I just I just ended up throwing that nail away. I was like, I'm not, the way that that nail looks, it's never going to be the way that I want it to look. So I just threw it away. And maybe I was being too ambitious thinking I can do my first nail, a marble nail. So I just went in, I'm gonna go in with this Fuchsia by Saviland and just do a one nail, one color. Just that's all I'm going to do. So when you're working with color poly gel, your sidewalls and your cuticles still need to be thinner, but you still want to make sure you have that full coverage throughout the entire nail. And the one thing that I do like about this poly gel is that it is pigmented. Um, it's not super soft it's soft now because it's in the summer the house is warmer than it is in the winter but it's not an extremely soft poly gel and using the base coat for me in my experience makes the poly gel um, easier to move around so if you're working with a really soft poly gel you're literally gonna not have to use any pressure at all so with the base coat and that poly gel was pretty easy to work with and then um, it's still messy, even though I wasn't doing a design on that one. That was still messy too. Still had poly gel on my fingers, which I did not enjoy. So I'm just gonna go in here on the prepped nail. And the nail does have base coat that was cured for 30 seconds as well. And I'm going to try and clean up the cuticle area as best as I can. Anything that's not touching the skin, um, is fine. You can just clean up that area when you are doing your your filing. And I went in underneath just to smooth out that area. And just know that underneath that nail is still going to be sticky. So just make sure that you do smooth it out. And then when it comes out of the lamp, before you start filing, just go ahead and top coat that. You don't have to wipe off the sticky layer. Just go ahead and top coat it. And if I didn't say before, I'm using the Yogi's base and top coat. And um, I do have a discount code for Yogi's website if you're interested. That will be in the description box below. So now I'm just going in with a fine, 
I think this is called a cross cut bit. It is by Panna. Um, I have a few bits by them and their bits are reasonably reasonably priced and they do last a long time the bits are gonna last me a little bit longer because I pretty much only do my nails or do nails for a nail video so they will last me a bit longer but their bits are pretty reasonably priced so I did um, have to go back in the cuticle area because there was a lip there um, but in real life you wouldn't pull someone's nail out like that but that's just because I'm using my flexi hand but I wanted to get that really flush so that's why I pulled it out anyway so I'm just gonna buff up the surface so that I can top coat it and then just make sure anything that's spilled over the sides is filed away um, I am gonna go in and try another design Okay, so this design I want to do like a glitter ombre. Um, the glitter poly gel is by Yayogi and the pink is, I think that's by Miss She. I, I know I showed the bottle um, at some point in this video, but um, <sighs> okay, how do I say this? I don't want to be negative. <laughs> I hate this method. Femi makes this look so easy like well that's probably because she has a lot more experience than I do but she makes this look so easy and I just kept getting poly gel on my fingers I kept like I just didn't like it I tried to um it's hard for me like to design on the top but it's gonna show up on the bottom if that makes sense because on top, I think my ombre looked amazing, but then when I flipped the nail over, it looked like trash. So, yes, I ended up throwing this nail away as well. So I literally prepped a whole, um, a whole hand of my flexi hand. I threw two nails in the garbage. Um, this method does not work for me. It might work for you. I would definitely try it. Um, but yeah, I'd rather just, I don't know. I think I want to try it with acrylic, but I just, I couldn't do it. <laughs> so I wasn't getting frustrated, but I knew I was about to get frustrated. So I was like, let me just stop. So I'm just going to go ahead and top coat the one nail that actually came out decent and maybe if I should like practice this more before I try and do designs because I think that nail came out pretty nice although I still didn't like when I did that nail getting poly gel on my fingers so I don't know guys um <laughs> just me um just this video is a little bit lighter than the video I posted on Sunday and I don't have any problem leaving my fails in my videos so definitely um yeah just learn from my mistakes in this video and then i'm just going to show you really quickly um the poly gels that i was playing with but the one that i ended up using was the one from Savilon, and that was um in fuchsia i i think i got that off aliexpress 
um, this winter that just passed. So definitely you can look for that on Savilon's website or AliExpress or wherever they sell their poly gel these days. Um, yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> definitely um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And um, this nail came out really, really nice. Like, I think I'm gonna try this with acrylic. So if you wanna see me do it with acrylic, let me know in the comments down below. But I don't think I will be using this method with poly gel anymore. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Th definitely like this video, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys again soon for another video.